everybody, Miss Farrington here. And yesterday we took a walk and looked at some of the different signs that are in our neighborhood. Today we're gonna learn about why these signs are important to us and to vehicles that are traveling in our community. So to help us learn about this, we are going to listen to the story, Signs in My Neighborhood. Now, one of the things I notice on the cover of the book is this giant stop sign. I see stop signs all over my neighborhood. Let's learn about them. What is a sign? Signs tell us what to do. They keep us safe. Look for signs in your neighborhood. There are tons of signs in our neighborhood. And yes, they're all there to keep us safe. Stop and go. Eddie sees a traffic light. Cars go on green. At yellow, they slow down. When the light is red, cars stop. So let's say green means go, yellow means slow, and red means stop. That's very important. What is that red octagon? Do you know what it is? That's right, it's a stop sign. Maya stops and looks at all directions before pedaling forward. So stop signs are there for not only cars, but for people and other people in different kinds of vehicles as well. You have to make sure you always stop and look. A yield sign stands at the street corner. Sid's dad slows down. He checks for cars before crossing. So a yield sign is telling you that you need to slow down before you go. Slow and look, kind of like a yellow traffic light. Safety signs. Ooh, we have one of these in front of our school building. When June walks to school, she finds the crosswalk sign. June crosses the street there. So we're gonna learn more about traffic safety next week. Um, we're actually tomorrow. We're gonna learn more about traffic safety tomorrow and we're gonna learn about what that really means. But this is a school crossing sign and that's where you're, you're supposed to walk. Not this way, not this way, but right in those two white lines. What is that big H sign? Anybody know? Hmm, it tells us where something important is. That's right, it tells people that the hospital is just down the road. So traffic signs are important to let us know where important places are too. If we didn't have these signs, we wouldn't know where to go in case of an emergency. Pointing the way. In Juan's neighborhood, street signs such as these stand at each corner. Juan's house is on Village Square Drive. So these are some traffic signs. So we have traffic signs in front of our school as well. Many times they have names or numbers. This is so you have an address, you know where to live and people know where to go. Each street has a name. What's the name of your street? Near her home, Lisa spots a one-way sign. It tells people they can go in only one direction. Only one direction they can go. So that sign right there, it's saying drivers can only go that way. People can walk both ways, but cars can only drive one way. Signs keep us safe too. They tell us where to go and how to get there. There are many signs in our neighborhood. Very special. 
Today, I would like you to head outside again in your neighborhood, and I want you to tell me what street you live on, okay? You can even talk about your address. 